Christmas. More like 12 days of Taurus, if you ask me. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me nothing. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me nothing again. And nothing on the first day, because I'm Jewish. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me one more time. Nothing. Nothing on the second day. Nothing. Goodness, on the first day, I told you I'm Jewish. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me not a damn thing. Nothing on the third day. Nothing on the second. Nothing at all. Damn it. Damn it to hell. On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Why was I born? I don't get any presents. Nothing on the third day. Nothing on the second. Nothing, nothing. Leave me alone. On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. I don't have a true love. I've been married for 36 years. And I've given her five golden rings. Helps me a toit with bankers with a shrew. Foreskin I don't have. Trinity I don't need. Tobishvat is boring. One mother-in-law I got. You wanna? Ha! Huh? On the seventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. What have I been saying? Haven't you been listening? I've been getting nothing. Why should I get anything? Can't you tell I'm Jewish? Logger, you retarded. Oi, how I hate the holidays. On the eighth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Listen, if I didn't get anything on the first seven days, why the hell would I get something on the eighth? Please, use your brains. Do I look like Santa? Yes, I have a beard. No, I don't have reindeer. I've never seen a reindeer. Although, apparently, they're kosher. But I still didn't get anything on the first day. On the ninth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me... Um, now wait. What? Hold on. What was it? I'm thinking it was, uh... Oh, yeah. Nothing! God, I hate this music. Everywhere you go, every radio station, even in the toilets. It belongs in the toilet. It's not like on Hanukkah. We make you listen to the dreidel song in the mall. Whatever happened to separation of church and state? And why does my prostate hurt? Can someone tell me that, huh? Why does my prostate hurt so much? On the tenth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me an Uzi, so I could shoot myself, so they can bury me in Mount Shoylem Cemetery in Farmingdale, so maybe I'll have a little peace for once. Only the Goyim will show up, and instead of leaving rocks and flowers on my grave, they'll decorate my tombstone with ornaments and lights. Even in death, they torture me. But you know what? It would be worth it, because I'd be dead, and I wouldn't have to wait online for an hour at Kmart to buy a pair of socks. And I wouldn't have to watch uplifting Christmas movies with Tiffany Amber Thiessen in them. And I wouldn't have to hear the phrase stocking stuffer ever again. On the eleventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me one blood libel. Tweet, God forbid, I'm just kidding. Look, it could be worse. Jews have it pretty good in this country. We can worship, we can vote, we can buy retail. We can celebrate Hanukkah as if it were Christmas just to make our children really confused. We can live where we want. Well, maybe not certain sections of Scarsdale. We can eat in kosher restaurants. We can run for president. We can control the media, or at least that's what they say. Except, if we did control the media, why the hell are there so many uplifting Christmas movies with Tiffany Amber Thiessen in them? On the twelfth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me high blood pressure, low blood sugar, ten oppressive commandments, nine days of fasting, eight days of Hanukkah, seven days of Shiva, six days of work. Why was I born? Four say the questions, three things sustain us, two sets of dishes, and the cartridge in my Uzi. Merry Christmas, go you happy Hanukkah, Jews! Seasons, greetings, everyone. Peace on earth. Goodwill for your sofa.